A lovely day for football and a warm welcome to Goodison Park here on Merseyside. My name is Derek Ray and sitting alongside me in the commentary box providing expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It is Everton versus Arsenal. Thanks Derek as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? And here's the team for Everton. Jordan Pickford begins in goal. Yeri Mina starts alongside Connor Cody in central defence. And leading the attack today is Dominic Calvert-Lewin. Here are the starters for Arsenal. Aaron Ramsdale is the goalkeeper. Thomas Partey starts with Granit Xhaka in the centre of the pitch. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. Thank you, Gerson Park. Enjoy the game. Potentially one to savour. Arsenal get this game underway. Partey. Arsenal's free kick here. Intercepting it intelligently. Idrissa Gay. And he could really get at the opposition. Take same and a decent save for credit. <laughs> Over it comes, and the keeper able to hold on to it. Alexander Zinchenko. An incisive pass. And Partey's through, and the challenge, crisp and clean. Well, you never quite know who's going to dominate a game in advance, but I think you can maybe make an argument for this fellow, Stuart. What do you think we'll see from him today? Well, Derek, there are... Oh, wait a minute! They could well be in. Oh, a save of the highest order. Well, he got his angles absolutely right. What a good save that is. Now, how about the short corner? Partey. And the keeper more than equal to it. They'll repeat the trick. Corner again. Well, opting for the short corner. Shown inside, superb block. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Can they keep it going? But the danger averted for now. Trossard. Real chance. And it's in! Well, here's the goal again, and it's a really nice ball to put him through. The vision to set up the chance is outstanding, and once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. 
What an emphatic finish that is. So Everton restart the game, well aware that the pressure has been applied. How will they respond? Will he play it in? Gray. Oh, he squandered the chance, and he knows it. Well, it wouldn't have counted anyway. He was offside, but nonetheless, that was a poor attempt. Martinelli promising attack this and they couldn't add to their advantage well that would have put them in complete control he should have scored there And he did well to cut it out. Well, not giving the opposition a look in. That strong play. Calvert Lewin. Gray. Well, that is how to nullify the opposition. And the counter looks on here. Options available. And he's broken free. The keeper diving magnificently to make sure he got there. Going short. Chance here. What a block. He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. Mikolenko. Possession lost. Trossard. Now Zinchenko, can they take advantage? Grossa, could be, and there it is, the goal they wanted for security. They lead by two now, they can breathe that bit more easily. Well, let's look at this again. And the keeper just lost his bearings there. He was never in the right position. He won't want to see that again. So back underway with the scoreline standing at 2-0. And a bad pass it was. And three minutes of stoppage time to be added on. Oh, good vision. Oh, he's got himself in hot water. Well, I think we both wondered if there was going to be a card, but not so in this case. Well, obviously the referee wasn't sure, and therefore, in my mind, he makes the right call. Keeper did to parry it. Corner kick given to Arsenal. And well, they're going for the short one. Martinelli. And so the first half story has been written. It's half time here at Goodison Park.
Well, Martin Odegaard is so very talented and he's displaying all his talents out there on the pitch. Well, I think he's been outstanding so far. He's looked a constant threat and he scored a very good goal. What a player he is. And so the ball is rolling again and Everton left with a mountain to climb here in the second half. Can they respond? Marcinelli. He must finish! And a goal! What a magnificent display! It's such a one-sided contest here. Well, here's the replay, and just look at that power. That's almost unstoppable. That's a great strike. Well, on they go again. Arsenal very much in charge. It's turning into a right old thrashing. There wasn't much in that offside decision. Could have been in business. Marcinelli. He continues his run, but really sticking to the task defensively. This might be ideal for the counter. Will it be sufficiently imaginative? And the body in the way. Well, as you can see, Arsenal have had most of the ball, and they've made good use of it. They really have played some good attacking football, and they look like scoring more. Now, hold on, Stuart. They're in here. Gives it a go. Having won the ball back, they might be able to profit. Well, he would have been disappointed had he spilled that one. 30 minutes left for play. Gray. And still trying to get the shot off. But a crucial intervention inside the box. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. and he's made headway in it goes such a complete performance four in front now well here we can see it again look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself and once he gets onto it he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique what an emphatic finish that is And this is turning into something of a rout. 4-0. McNeil. Good looking move this. Coleman. Now Gay. It might be on for them. Terrific block. Now veering in field. McNeil. Chance to finish. Absolutely spot on with that challenge. Trossard. Martinelli. Partey. It should be. Oh, burying them beneath an avalanche of goals. No let up here. Well, here we can see it again. It's a lovely ball in behind, perfectly timed, and there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. Arsenal. 
Oh my goodness, it's so one-sided. 5-0 in this match. It will be. Gray. The delivery. Well, in fact, a good but straightforward claim by the keeper. Ten minutes to go, then. Dangerous-looking attack. Firing it towards goal. And danger still. Well, this game ebbing away, and Everton a long way from their best. Well, this is certainly a performance to forget because they've been totally outplayed today. How many times have they been opened up during this game? They have to defend better than this. It's been a dismal display. And support available. But they dealt with the threat posed. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Oh, what an opportunity! Technical excellence to finish that one off. Wonderful to have that in your repertoire. Well, here it is again. What a ball that is over the top of the defence. It's weighted perfectly. And then just look at the finish. That's a brilliant volley. Good technique and the perfect contact. Well, it's an out-and-out out pasting, 6-0. Well, adding up all the stoppages, we will have three extra minutes. McNeil. Amadou Onana. So there goes the final whistle. It is a defeat for Everton. Not exactly what they had in mind. I wonder what you thought of it all. It was the nature of the performance more than anything else. They never got out of second gear and were completely dominated all over the park. Tell you what, though, I wouldn't want to be in that dressing room right now. Well, this man has given us plenty of reasons to dwell on his performance, hasn't he, Stuart? Well, that was a great performance. His understanding of how to find space was brilliant today. And, of course, he scored two really good goals.